Since the recent release of the MCU's Deadpool and Wolverine, my appreciation and love for the classic western superhero genre has skyrocketed astronomically. More specifically though, I've really started to take a liking to Hugh Jackman's Wolverine from the Fox line of X-Men movies which in large part stems from several key aspects of his character, such as his no-bullshit attitude, incredibly rich history, relentless physicality, and most of all his love for booze. Now who does that sound like to you guys? Well, in my opinion, I think Soldier Boy is basically if Captain America met Wolverine and did the fucking fusion dance. That's why in today's video we'll be going through both Soldier Boy and Wolverine's individual stats like strength, speed, durability, and hacks to determine which one of these R-rated super soldiers would win in a fight to the death and why. To kick things off, we'll be talking about Fox's version of the Wolverine and the first thing we'll be going over is his strength and durability. But to understand just how strong Logan is, we first have to talk about the strength of Cyclops' optic blasts. The reason these blasts are important is because they're so powerful that they're stated to casually be capable of putting holes through literal mountains and can even shatter whole ones when Scott is pushed to his limits, which are feats that can be calced at multi-city block level and city level plus respectively, when accounting for the size of Cyclops' usual blast and the volume of your average North American mountain. But how does this tie into the Wolverine strength you may be asking? Well it's quite simple actually, as not only have Wolverine's adamantium claws been shown to be capable of withstanding Cyclops' optic blasts, but they've also been used to injure and kill the same Jean Grey who could no-sell these blasts uninjured. Making it pretty consistent for Wolverine's adamantium skeleton and claws to be much more potent and durable than attacks that can easily range from multi-city block level to city level plus, which is the tier of strength we'll be placing him in for this video. As for Logan's speed like with his strength, things are pretty straightforward. Since in Wolverine Origins we see that he was able to fight off the same Deadpool who was casually able to slice through and deflect hundreds of bullets, which would require Wade to be moving his katanas at almost 7 times the speed of sound, easily slotting Deadpool and by extension Wolverine in the hypersonic tier in terms of combat speed. Additionally, you could also argue that by his ability to react to and block a replica of Cyclops' light speed laser vision, that Logan should also be considered relativistic in terms of speed, which is even backed up by calcs. However, there is one simple problem with this meta. Consistency. The reason I say this is because a character like Quicksilver, who is so fast that time literally slows down for him in comparison to other characters, has at best been calculated to be moving at massively hypersonic levels of speed. Therefore, Wolverine or any other character in the Foxverse being even a percentage of the speed of light would legitimately make no sense and should just flat out be considered wink. Skipping past speed, the last thing we need to talk about when it comes to Wolverine is his abilities, starting off with his iconic and overpowered regeneration factor. Which is so potent that it essentially makes Logan nigh immortal to the point where things like severe organ damage is only mildly painful, and even something as crazy as atomic deconstruction is not enough to kill this man. Though I will say it has been theorized by Logan himself that decapitation could possibly counteract his healing factor, and it's flat out shown in the movie Logan that an adamantium bullet can kill a clone of the Wolverine in the post retcon Foxverse. Other than his regeneration factor though, some other abilities worth mentioning for Wolverine include his well-known adamantium skeleton and retractable claws, enhanced senses, and super strength, which all pair together to perfectly suit Logan's animalistic fighting style. Moving on from Wolverine though, we can finally talk about the hero of heroes, Soldier Boy. And what better way to kick off our analysis of the Super Soldier than by going over his best attributes of strength and durability. But to understand how strong Soldier Boy is, we also need to talk about his son Homelander, who is stated and shown to be relative to his father in terms of strength on multiple occasions. With Homelander being so strong that he was pretty much unfazed by a town level explosion in the boy's diabolical, and is also implied to be durable enough to survive nuclear weapons like the United States' B-83 missile, which is known to have an explosive yield of 1.2 megatons of TNT, hypothetically putting both Homelander and Soldier Boy at city level in terms of strength and durability, if you take the aforementioned statement about Homelander at face value. Up next after strength and durability, it's now time to dive into Soldier Boy's speed, which similar to strength is mostly based off his relativity to Homelander, who has consistently displayed the ability to move at hypersonic speeds. 
such as the time he flew around at Mach 1.5 to search for translucent, when he made bullets look slow, or even the time he outsped an explosive set off by Billy Butcher while saving the hero killer in the process. I only emphasize consistency though since in my Homelander vs All Might video I made the mistake of simply assuming that Starlight's energy projectiles were light speed based off name alone, even though the projectiles were only shown to damage people through concussive force and were outsped by A-Train who at best could reach a tick over Mach 1 when amped on Compound V, pretty much proving that these projectiles don't possess the same properties as real light, thereby disqualifying Soldier Boy and anyone else that has interacted with Starlight's blast from being light speed or even relativistic for that matter. Now that we've established Soldier Boy's speed though, we can conclude our analysis of the sadistic suit by talking about his abilities and hacks which if I'm being honest are few and far between, as his most defining powers of enhanced strength and durability aren't really abilities and more so attributes. Meaning Soldier Boy's only real power is his ability to produce nuclear explosions capable of outputting multi-city block levels of energy and stripping the powers of any soup enveloped in the blast radius by literally frying the compound V from their bodies, making Soldier Boy an absolute nightmare matchup for any hero that's heavily reliant on superpowers. With both Wolverine and Soldier Boy discussed though, I think it's finally time to settle just who wins between these two cynical takes on superheroes, starting by readdressing their physical stats. And if you've been paying attention to most of the video, you know that both Soldier Boy and Wolverine are basically even when it comes to raw physical stats, as both of them scale anywhere between multi-city block level to city level in terms of strength and hypersonic level in terms of speed, making them both pretty much dead even when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. However, just because Soldier Boy and Logan are equal when it comes to physical stats like strength and speed doesn't necessarily mean this fight is a close matchup, as once you start talking about abilities and hacks you'd realize that Logan would absolutely dominate in this fight thanks to his healing factor, which would virtually negate any damage done by Soldier Boy when he manages to land on Wolverine, while Logan on the other hand would be leaving permanent damage to Soldier Boy with every slash from his adamantium claws, quickly causing the hero of heroes to panic from finally being damaged for the first time in his life, prompting him to immediately begin producing an explosion which would destroy everything in the radius of the blast and leave Logan in the same state he was after taking an explosion in Nagasaki. Now from here the battle could end one of two ways. The first being that like always, Logan simply regenerates after being turned into a twin of Deadpool and goes on to savagely murder Soldier Boy with his claws, which I think is the more logical and provable outcome. While the second scenario on the other hand ends with Wolverine being the one to die, due to Soldier Boy's nuclear blast stripping Logan of his mutant gene and killing him due to his regeneration factor being fried. However, admittedly this scenario is basically just headcanon and heavily relies on your view of versus equalization and whether you should apply it in this scenario, which is a case by case basis depending on who you are. But if you ask me personally why I think it's a fun idea and concept to have Soldier Boy winning due to stripping Wolverine of his healing factor, I think it's a little bit of a stretch to say that Logan's mutant gene should be equalized to Compound V in a fight with Soldier Boy, even though Wolverine is clearly superior in every fight that doesn't include this hyper-specific detail. Therefore, I think it's pretty safe to say that Wolverine vs. Soldier Boy isn't even close.